Well, here we are, another uh, Kia. Yeah, it's a Kia. Yay. It, it has some deer damage, that's what this is. Um, I see some deer hair. If I can open this oh, hood. Fantastic. So, um, yeah, that's the damage air. Uh, ass must have came around and caught the door. But that's what they totaled this car for. This was a um, this was a co park car. Got a little bit of damage right there. That that's previous. So that that's not from from that. So. It's pretty, pretty decent little car. Hundred and, hundred and something on it. One oh seven, and one oh seven, uh, four sixteen, on a oh eight, I believe this is Kia Spectra. So we're going to fix it. Who would have thunk it? Yeah, it the frame rail's nice and straight. Uh, they caught the core support here. It's it's a bolt on part. It ain't bad to put in. I put a couple of them in uh, Kia Spectra and a Hyundai Elantra. It's the same car. Uh, we have one of these here for parts, so um, I'd like to try to fix the hood. It saved me a lot of work by fixing that hood actually, then replacing it, which it, it doesn't seem like it would would be less work, but it would be. Um, I gotta pull this out, uh, change the bumper cover, grill. Uh, let's see about fixing that fender too. There's a wall up right there on the fender. Uh, but first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clean this car off. But uh, so let's get to it. Uh, nah. Kia. Yeah, Kia. It's screwed. Did a little bit more tearing down. Got the inner fenders out, wheels off. Pulled the door all apart. Look at this. Look how much room is in this. I mean, I'm used to working on GMs. So all you have is just a little area, then the intrusion bar is right where the dent always is. So that's gonna be really nice. I could hammer and dolly that till the cows come home. But what I was interested in is watch how this guy moves. I mean, this is fantastic. Right in the place. 
I mean, yeah. yes. All I gotta do is mess with this bumper cover some. It might go back in, might go back into place. I got to plastic weld this back in there and just get this to come out and stay out. I hope it will. But if, if this is going to be as easy as what that was, I mean, I was in here uh, tapping on it, tapping on it, tapping on it. And it was, it was coming, but I was thinking, ah, hit the high. Just give it some light tapping and phew, right into place. And I freaking love it. for tonight got the hood off uh, all the dents and dingers hammer and all it out uh, just about as good as what they're gonna get uh, there's this whole area here was kerplow but uh come out pretty good there's a little dent here I got that done uh, this had a roll to it got that out uh, this fender over here there was a little dinger I uh, got that hammer and dollied. Uh, I'll try to buff on that real quick. Make sure it, it might come out the rest of the way. Uh, I doubt it. Uh, door is about as good as what it's going to get with hammer and dolly. Um, just skim coat with filler will take care of that. And along with this back quarter panel, this is a lot better than what I was expecting. And this here, I got this tab pulled back out I just got to put some heat to it and you know woohoo got that out well there's all that so now it's just doing body work uh, got a hood um, core supports coming for it that's going to be Friday so I can pull the uh, core support off That'll probably be tomorrow as well. So, till then. progress has been had. 
noble dinger has been fixed. The hood may have changed colors, but it no longer has stuff happening to it. Fix the fender, got the door fixed, and there was this weird mark here. I don't know what that was from. It wasn't from the deer damage, it was just previous accident damage. But right here, that was the only rust on the car, and it really would have been a shame to fix that and not that. So that, I cut it all out, welded a piece of metal in. Uh, might have stepped on a piece and it went up through my shoe and into my foot. So that, that was fun. Uh, gotta love these. But it's all ready for primer. Um, I'm gonna go eat. It's Sunday. Um, Mom and Dad made Sunday dinner, so I'm gonna go eat. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna paint this. Well, not paint. Primer. I'm going to primer this. Actually, it's like a primer surfacer. Oh, there's like 40,000 million dents on this thing. And I fixed them. Dent, 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 dent. Not a dent. Not a dent. Dent, dent, dent. Dent, 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 dent. But yeah, well, there, there's the update. Um, I'm gonna go eat, and I'm gonna squirt some primer. Primer, sanded, and washed. Yay! Dried and masked. Wiped down. Collar. Jam coat, clear coat. Done. Unmasked. Masked. Masked. Masked, masked off. Painted. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Hold up. We're moving. Just one second. Going way too fast here. Let's uh, let's back up a little bit. Got it primered. Wet sanded. Cleaned, masked off. Got the underneath the hood. I'll uh. You know sprayed and uh show you what i got ready here i gotta wipe it down yet and uh then we're gonna do some painting but that's all the body work is done i'm gonna blend into the back bumper right just just like that uh, all this will get painted that way i have no blend blend clear lines clear clear but clear blend Blend, 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 clear. But, uh, normal Kia Hyundai thing, door handles. I got the other one on the trunk lid. That's for the front door. I got back door. Another front door. And there was a little dinger right there and some chips. Fixed the chips while I was at it. And the chrome wasn't too good on this. And I fought and I fought and I fought. And I could not get that off the metal studs in the plastic is, is is either break the chrome or leave it on so i left it on uh the chrome wasn't that great the other hood the, the chrome was actually really nice but couldn't get that one off either so i'm not being stuck trying to find a piece of chrome for a 08 no 09 kia spectra so we're just going to paint that same color as the car Let's get this show on the road as they...
Okay, so it has some problems with coverage. That color is expensive. So I just just did what I had to do. I got uh I got it all covered. It looks good, it's nice and even. It, everything blended really nice. Um, all I gotta do now is the um, clear coat. So I needed my phone for a light, my my sunlight gave up the ghost. So I just had to do it with flashlight on my phone and that's what I record with. It, just a Samsung was at a uh, Galaxy but uh yeah everything turned out good I uh, got enough paint for the front bumper and that's it uh, if the front bumper gets screwed up there goes oh close to 200 bucks for another pint of paint so let's throw some clear on it I do tell you what though, after that little mishap with the uh, with the camera just fast forwarding everything, well, uh, it did turn out pretty nice. And there was a little dent right there, right about there, there was a dent. Hood used to be black, that used to be chrome. Um, fender had a buckle and a roll to it, got that taken care of. The ass end of the deer must have swung around. Bloop. But you seen that. I blended the door. I painted the door handles. Um, there was a weird mark there on the bumper. See, I got a little run. That'll be easily taken care of. I can't focus. Focus, it wants to. There, yeah. You got a little run. No big deal. You know what they say, a painter who doesn't get runs, doesn't paint. I say that to make myself feel better. Here's the front door handle. Door handle, door handle. I might end this one here, I don't know. If you see more of this in this video, you know I didn't end it here. But I just need to see actually how much footage I got and how long I want to make the video. I don't want to make it super long. I don't know if you guys actually like, if you just like longer videos, let me know. If you like shorter videos, let me know. I'd like to try to make it so everybody's just happy. So, if it ends, it ends. If not, see you whenever I'm doing the bumper cover, I guess. I want to show you guys a little bit of this headlight restoration and how to do it first thing you got to do go on your ebay app bring up your make and model year and order a new set you're done i'm kidding i actually quit saying and buff these that's what it used to look like that's what it looks like now uh not every headlight's going to turn out like that that that's a pretty big difference on that um if you really wanted to you can make it look a little bit nicer but it's it's good enough it's good enough it's, uh, but uh show you a little bit of this this here i'm just going with what i have right now this is merca i think it's either merca or 3m i had it here for a while uh got it from a yard sale it was it was cheap but uh gonna start with 500 grit on these 
insane. Insane. And sand. And sand. No block. Imagine that. No block. All be dipped. You can kind of see the yellow disappear off of this and the roughness. If you watch the VOD video, I said about possibly trying to do this to the original headlights to the VOD, but they were just all stress cracked and they were actually yellowed from the inside out and you, you can't do anything with those. These ones here you can, the, the inside's nice, a uh, little bit of D-Lam and the chrome right around here, but it's plenty fine for what we're trying to accomplish. Yeah, the, the outside, it just needs a little bit of love. Careful with the new bumper. You might even want to get some tape and put across yours if you'd like. That way you ain't scoffing it. Yeah, you didn't even see the, uh, see the, uh, this the the stuff this stuff here and you can see it turn from like a yellow to like whitish and fast forward fast forward okay so that's 500 grit it's a little rough but you know it it does the trick get all the sanding sludge off of here that's the word sanding sludge you watch the uh, sludge turn from like a yellow to like a white Now, if you want, you can use the same technique that I showed you on the other videos. Sand in one direction, then whenever you go up a grit, sand in the opposite direction. You know, do it how you want. It's a headlight. I mean, if you didn't do this, I mean, what are you out? Nothing. Um, if worst comes to worst, it's going to look the same as what it did before. But uh, I'm going from 1500 to this is 1200 3M. So I'm not messing around, just going right for the goods. Let me do the same thing all over again, but you could actually watch the uh, the sand scratches, the 500 scratch, come right out of it, and you see this headlight just start coming back to life. Well, like I said, whenever it started, you just go on eBay and buy a set. I think for this car, it was like 180 bucks for headlights. Not being stupid, it's a Kia. Car ain't worth 180 bucks. You start seeing that chrome delamination come out of it a little bit. Fast forward.
on rewind. Bring it in. Bring it in. Get all that sludge back off here again. Did I just painted this bumper? So I'm gonna mask it before a buff. The way I'm not marring the crap out of it, out of the fresh paint. It'd probably be alright if it was a um, <clears throat> wool pad, but it's not a wool pad. Or it'd be alright if it was a foam pad, not a wool pad. And I'm using a you know, wool pad. where you test how well you wet sanded the bumper cover. The paint's gonna stick or not. Uh, good enough. I'd like to do this fairly quick because that bumper is still kind of wet. I mean, if you push on it hard enough, it's I'm gonna leave fingerprints. Get this done fairly quick. All right, this is diamond cut. You see me use it a lot. Just put it on. What's the word? Liberally. Milwaukee buffer with a wool pad. That's a two-inch pile. Didn't clean it or nothing. It's just dirty pad. Peter from Shatter. through my paint. Alright. The paint stuck to the bumper, not the tape. Gotta love it. good there's some sand scratches in it but nothing that uh, not the average person's gonna see yeah there it is there's your eBay headlights brand new out of the box that actually looks pretty good yeah, you still see some of the some of the sand scratches in it actually that might be from me wiping it with that towel yeah, they, they're a little bit in there. You see the chrome where it's lifted up there a little bit. 
I'm gonna show you my fog light delete. Yeah, car didn't have fog lights. So, painted in black. Good looking car. All right, y'all. Uh, done with this as much as what I'm gonna do with in this video. If you want to see me wet sand and buff my ass off, let me know. I make another detail video. But uh, yeah, here she is. I'm I'm gonna do it anyhow. But let me know if you want to see it or not. If you don't want to, then I'm not gonna do it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna redo the stripes. Uh, these are painted on. I have vinyl ones that look just like that, which was really shame. Somebody did a beautiful job with them. I wish I could do that, but I can't. Uh, incompetent would be the word. But in a little bit of dirtness, not not bad. Has a nice shine to it, so it'll come right around. But uh, yeah, it turned out good. This was a older style front end conversion on this. Um, the front bumper, grill, and headlight was broke. So to for what uh, for what it cost to put the original style stuff on here compared to what we already had, which is all this, it was like another three hundred bucks. So just ended up putting the old style front end on, which consisted of the front bumper rail. The impact foam, front bumper cover, grills, headlights were different, wiring harness for the headlight was different. Uh, instead of having one bulb that does two jobs on the old style, the new style has two bulbs to do two jobs. So that was just as simple as uh, finding out which bulb did what, then wiring them both in and plugging the ground in the, well, ground. And uh, inner fenders also had to come out of the other car. But other than that, um, everything else was the same. Uh, same fender, same hood, same core support, which put a core support in here. Um, this top beauty panel thingy, uh, splash pan, whatever you want to call it, that was the same. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's the old style front end on a newer style car. And dent out of the door, that's fixed. I uh, got all the door handles painted. And that dent that was there, I still need to cut and buff this run. Which, once again, if you want to see it, just let me know. If you don't let me know, not going to make it. But, yeah, this is the end of this video. If you did like it, like I said, just let me know. I would, uh, I would like to know. But, uh, yeah, once again, hope you guys enjoyed it. If not, sorry, not my problem. All right, till next one. See y'all later. Thanks for watching.